American and Canadian bodies of special forces lay strewn about and horribly mutilated on the soil of the Bransk region in Russia as they attempted to cross the border. One ranger pictured has been identified with Biden in a previous photo op. Apparently, heavy weaponry was being carried, enough to blow up a small town. The question arises about how the Americans got led into this gambit and why they are so NAZI friendly. This is what I can tell you. I myself served four years in the American Army Mechanized Infantry. During my time there, some of the soldiers and sergeants were war history junkies, especially about German World War II vintage stuff. One sergeant even collected a tank on his property back in the south. They obviously were off their rockers a bit. My roommate even had a felony conviction before the army as he entered someone's house to steal some kind of war paraphernalia. Always German stuff. He was nuts about German war history and he believed in reincarnation actually. A Richard said that he had once been a German officer in World War II. Notice that all those who believe in reincarnation never say they were the fastening bolt of the door hinge on the upstairs bedroom in their previous life. No, just as Elizabeth Taylor said that she realized she once had been the queen of Egypt after touring an old Egyptian palace. Meanwhile, uh, for the other soldiers, the typical view in America of World War II was that, uh, for those interested in army history, was that the Soviets had just overwhelmed the enemy with uh, mass army and mass types of productions of weapons of inferior quality. After the Cold War started in the late 1940s, you understand, uh, the American propaganda machine rolled out in full steam ahead and continues to this day. While there is a general apathy for foreign news in the U.S. at the best of times, the general public is kind of influenced in a sort of way by the rep repetitious drumbeat of the anti-Russian propaganda. Большинство из них уже ликвидированы, однако ЧВК Польши и США ведут активную вербовочную кампанию, стремясь завлечь воевать за режим Зеленского новое пушечное мясо. 